All right, this is question eight from Dr. Long for review. And it says, why is the double reciprocal plot a popular way to grab transfer activity when determining whether a patient might have a protein mutation leading to decreased transport? So this is a typical double reciprocal plot. You have one over B, and then you have one over your substrate concentration. And right here where the y-intercept is, it's gonna, you're going to have you're, you're going to have your one over B max, and really just this is just used for as a quick way to determine your uh, quick way to determine a rough estimate of what your KT and B max is going to be, and so then you could roughly you know you could see whether you're having decreased transport or incre incre increased transport activity going on, and it also is used for um, the different types of enzyme inhibition. It can be easily seen which is um, you have non-competitive, uncompetitive, and competitive. And that's the answer to this question. All right, this is question number nine from Dr. Long's review. And it says that pH 7 in tryptophan crosses a lipid bilayer at about 1,000th the rate of indole, a closely related compound, suggests an explanation for this. And it's, it's just because at, at pH 7, tryptophan is going to be in its zero ion form, which is going to have a negative charge on the carboxy group and a, posi a positive charge on the amino group, its alpha amino group. And so even though that's neutral, it's still going to have charge, whether indole is closely related compound to tryptophan has no charge, which makes it less polar and easier to go through the hydrophobic lipid bilayer. So that's the main reason why why it's going gonna, it's gonna to be able to cross easier is this, this is this is less polar than this.